Physicists don't yet understand how we came to exist. The Big Bang should have generated equal amounts of matter and antimatter, which are twins but with an opposite charge. Put the two together and both are annihilated. Yet somehow, the universe is still here. Why haven't antimatter and matter destroyed each other by now? Rick and physicists are getting closer than ever to answering that question. There must be some tiny but important difference between matter and antimatter. The three main suspects are mass to charge ratio, decay lifetime and magnetism. Stefan Ulmer is a Riken scientist testing these theories at CERN's antimatter factory in Switzerland. Pure antimatter can be contained by strong electrical and magnetic fields in a penning trap, which sounds like this. Researchers measured the antiproton in three ways. Increasing the number of measurements per experiment increases the accuracy of that result. Stefan increased the number of penning traps used per experiment and invented a new method to generate more measurements per run. Well, in reality, it's a very significant difference whether you measure two months or two years. He measured the magnetic moment of the antiproton with a degree of accuracy 350 times better than anyone before. So the big question is, is antimatter's magnetism different from matter? Not that can be detected, yet. The next step is to get this measurement more precise. Ulmer plans to slow down antiprotons with laser-cooled beryllium atoms. And if we still don't detect anything, then even more and more precise. That's the game. 